expire the minute you die. So according to Qantas, um, any points earned but not yet redeemed or transferred prior to the death of the member will be cancelled with effect from the date of death. Now, what happens, a lot of people die and then afterwards people are like, oh, God, what are we going to do with those points? It is the last thing on your mind. Now, the problem in Janice's husband's uh, case were the, the points were all in her husband's name, even though she'd accrued most of them on a joint credit card. And the other thing is transferring points was the last thing on her mind because Frank was unable to make any decisions like that because he was dying from a brain disease. Sadly, Janice Ewinger joins us on the line. Hi there, Janice. Hello, Elise. And firstly, look, thanks so much for giving me this public platform to voice my angst at this very unfair policy of Qantas. Thank you. Thank you. I, first of all, I'm sorry to hear about the death of your husband. Um, yes. When, when someone you. dies... I guess frequent flyer points really aren't on the top of the agenda, are they? Oh, absolutely not. Can I give you a very quick overview of um, my husband um, from the time of his um, diagnosis? And what's really fired me up, at least, let me just, I'll just go back a little bit. Qantas, I've made three calls to them and complained about this situation. I think it's very discriminatory and I think they're lacking compassion. And to be fair, Qantas offered me 50,000 points uh, as goodwill. Uh, and then again, they offered me 150,000 points and said, would I take a couple of days to think about their offer? And I said, I would. But when they said to me, the consultant, what did your husband die of? And I told that person he died of a terminal illness, a grade four brain tumour. The consultant said, well then, he had plenty of time to transfer the points to you before he died. I was, that, that crushed me, that crushed me. The lack of empathy and the lack of the compassion. Now Frank was diagnosed with a brain tumour. He had part of the brain tumour removed. He consequently suffered greatly with seizures to the point where we were told his brain was in a vegetative state. He was then placed in palliative care for 10 days, but <laughs> there was no way he was going to leave us. And after learning to walk again, he returned home and we had the joy, the joy of sharing another six months with him. And at least during that time, his limited focus was on every breath, every step, every medical in intervention in order to stay with us. He wasn't able, he didn't have the mental capacity to mm. think of points accrued that needed to be transferred. Indeed. I'd love to hear from listeners, did you lose a loved one's frequent flyer points? Do you, do you know about that fine print? And should widows be allowed to accept their dead partner's points after their partner has died? Should the system change? I guess, Janice, it's a difficult one because Qantas has made very clear, albeit in the fine print, that these points yes. disappear straight away. So, you know, they're, they're not technically doing the wrong thing. I guess in your case oh, no. it's twofold. Yeah. One is it wasn't handled very compassionately. Yes. Um, and secondly, uh, the fine print was so fine that it, it was a bit after the, the fact. What would your message be to widowers out there with regard to situations like this? Or, oh, dare I say, people with, with partners who, who yes. are unwell? Yes, exactly. All right, well, my... Oh, gosh, this is a really difficult one, Elise, especially taking the case of my husband in point. Um, there was no way... Even if I had known about this fine print with regard to point, I didn't know about it. I didn't even know that Frank had organised for the Commonwealth Bank to transfer our accrued credits directly to the to, um, pointers. Um, what would I... What, what's my... Well, my... I would say, how can you ask... Uh, your husband who's terminally ill, who's not going to die, he's so positive, don't even discuss that, which we couldn't. How could I get him to sign a document to transfer his points over to me because he was going to die? I wouldn't do that to him. I would rather than 300,000 points be, be tossed in the bin than having to get him to sign a document, which is basically me saying, I know you're going to die, darling. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. But how do I overcome this? Um... Well, you get your husband to sign everything away before he dies. Can I give you an aside? Uh, Frank had an insurance cover for terminal illness. And again, just like Qantas, the insurance company had fine print, you had to claim the terminal illness insurance cover once you were diagnosed with terminal illness. Frank, again, couldn't have done that. He did not have the ability. I did not know about it. But fortunately, the insurance company has finally acknowledged Frank's mental capacity did not allow him to be able to wind up his affairs during the final stages of his life. And they've fortunately paid that claim. And I'm so grateful for that. And I just want to... I don't know what the answer is. I, 
perhaps Qantas need to look at their policy. Perhaps they need to look at their policy and not um, negate a partner's input over all these years when they're accumulating points as well. Now, it's interesting about what, what they're worth. So you had 300,000 points. I mean, it's hard to say what they directly translate to. But, look, that would be quite a few domestic flights. Yeah. Oh, I think it's about three or four return flights to London. Oh, um, I did have a look. I'm was not it? a good mathematician. Uh, I did go on to yeah. I did have a look online, but it's 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 quite a bit. It's a lot. Although <laughs> yeah. flying to London's not really at the top of anyone's no. agenda at the moment. <laughs> no, but, no, no. But it, it is the, it is the principle. Yeah, yeah. That is, absolutely. In principle, integrity. And my husband set out uh, before he became term legal. He worked hard to set up. Um, our life after retirement and to ensure that if anything did happen to him, I would be safe and secure. And it's a slap in the face what Qantas have done to him, I feel. Yeah. I've just looked online here. They say Qantas frequent flyer points valuation in cents is 1.9. Look, that changes all the time. But it, look, yeah. it's worth something. But like you said, you're not going to be mercenary when someone's dying and, and fighting to no. live. And no, say, exactly. and honey, how about, you know, uh, uh, yeah, would you just, sign away? Would you yeah, just sign yeah. away the points? Yeah. Well, yeah, Jazz, exactly. I hope you have a positive outcome. I hope Qantas maybe see the light in your case and let it be a warning.